he wanted us to know what he was about, so we had an individual meeting about you know, five minutes or so. First, and just, you know, to uh, get a feel for one another. And look, this would be one of the first times we would get together as a unit and actually meet with him. Had he been chewing you guys out at uh, Bachelors or anything? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, he has. And uh, he, he's, uh, one thing he's told us is that he's going to demand greatness from us. Uh, uh, that's one of his biggest things, I guess, you know, especially with his background being former All-American and Lombardi Award winner, you know, all that. he said uh, he's going to challenge us to be great, and if we don't want to be pushed and challenged to be great, that we were in the wrong room. So uh, I, I, I like the fact that that's his attitude. You know, he wants the best, what's the best, worst players. Do you think really much can change, though, I mean, just from the all position in general? Just, I mean, really much can change just from, I know it's a different coach, but how much can really change on the defensive line? Uh, well, this year, uh, well, taking into consideration the guys that, have, uh, that are coming in, I believe that this year is the year we've had, you know, the most people on the defensive line since I've been here. Uh, so I believe that with the different schemes or whatever they plan on doing, I believe we'll be able to get personnel in and uh, different packages in depending on the situation and uh, different bodies depending on what the situation is that they need. Uh, so um, I, th I think it, it's going to be a, it's gonna be a little bit of a change, but it's going to be a good good change. Uh, just looking at, the like I said, the coaches that they have in place, you have uh, Coach Pruitt, who was at uh, Alabama, whenever they had their, you know, their run over there. And then uh, you just got one at Florida State. And then also you got uh, Coach Rocker, who was at uh, Auburn, whenever they uh, won theirs with Noon and all. And they have, they have a lot of experience here and uh, know what it takes to get there. So I, I believe that with with the coaching, yeah, there will be a change, and I believe it will be for the better. What do you take upon yourself to change coming off of last season that really kind of ate at you at the way it ended? Coming off of last year, uh, this, year uh, this year I want to uh, you know, be a little bit quicker, you know, coming off the ball, um, run over a few pounds, you know, uh, <coughs> be able to maneuver my way around just a little bit more, you know, uh, I thought I did an okay job last year, but you know it's it's just those little things like the the one tenth of a second that count. You know there there were a few times last year where I had the opportunity to make some plays if I'd have been just a step quicker here or a step quicker there. So that's one thing I'm really putting the focus on this year. So. What, what do you uh, weigh now? What, what, what was the most you weighed last season? Uh, the most I weighed last season was around 287. I'm down to uh, about 282, 283 now. Um, the goal is to get under the 280 mark, closer to 275, uh, and in a row from there. By the, by the fall you're talking about, or what? Uh, yes, sir. Ray, what was the, uh, when Coach Pruitt was first announced as a defense coordinator, you could just kind of describe, I guess, the, the energy level or whatever that, that changed when that move was made. Uh, well, whenever he was uh, first announced as the defensive coordinator, I think the buzz around the locker room and amongst the players was a, was one that was uh, was was good. Uh, we had a lot of guys on the team that knew him from the recruiting process, which uh, he was like I say he was at Alabama while, while I was being recruited. Uh, I know well, some of the young guys he was at Florida State, so we, we everyone pretty much knew who he was. Uh, and given his background and where all he's been and uh, the success that he's had, I believe everyone, I think they'll be willing to buy in and, and listen to him because he knows what he's talking Is about. Is it kind of cool 